which is, which is, listen, I, I tried, I tried to talk to her, but you know, it's, it's not always easy for me, you know. Tisoba, tell your father to stay away from my land. Ichi, please calm down. Are you stupid? Uh, no. Who asked me to talk when I'm talking? Yeah, Are you mad? I did be your great grandfather. Or your father left a portion of land for you. Do we know what it is to have one? But he didn't. You're putting your mouth in my tongue. Okay, okay, okay. I will try. I will try. It's, it's, it's okay. I will try. <laughs> I will try. You know I'm not used to talking to all these girls the way you do your thing, man. I will try. Okay, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Stop, stop, stop! What, what, what would you do? Actually? Calm down. I'm warning you now. Tell your father if he ever steps his foot on my land again, this kingdom will not contain both of them. And I'm warning you. Nonsense. She has heard you. It's here! It's here! It's here. It's here. My prince. Why are you shouting like this? Why are you talking to these young people like this? Her father tried to take away my land. And I'm sending her the message to warn him. Okay, okay. That's okay. Yes, my prince. Greetings. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Young man, you can leave us now. Thank you. We were going somewhere before he interrupted. I do not like to repeat myself. Leave us. Leave us! It's here. Yeah, Prince. Father would no longer put foot on your land, okay? Thank you, my Prince. Greetings, beautiful. What is your name? My name is Chizoba. Chizoba. It's a beautiful name. You know, a beautiful maiden like yourself should not suffer. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, to make sure that from this day forth, your father and yourself will lack nothing. Thank you. You know what I mean. But uh, the ball is in your court. And um, okay, my friends. I like your smile. It's beautiful. Thank you, my friends. I will be happy if you come to the palace today to visit me. It will be a pleasure, my friends. That's good. All right, I expect to see you today. What did he say? Uh, um, he said he scolded Ichi today for shouting at us, and he told me to tell my father to stay off the land. That's all. Why couldn't he say it before me? Why did I have to leave? I guess he felt the issue was a family affair. But don't worry. Let's let's go. Don't worry. Let's go. You have to tell it you, G. Don't worry, let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay. I'm waiting for you, darling. All right, baby. See ya. Hmm. See? She's over. She's over. She? 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 She's over. Is that a 
on the phone ringing. Chi? You know what? Hey. Go down, go down. Chisaba, so you have been in this house. And you heard me screaming your name. Or rather, you saw me and I ran inside. If, if your phone had it right now, I would have gone you. I'm so what? I'm so what? You know, it's not obvious that I don't want to see. What is it now? Eh? What is it? He is no more. Is everything okay, yeah? Is everything okay, yeah? Everything is fine, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you, baby. <laughs> uh, we don't have much time. Yeah, Shall sure. We? I'm ready. I'm You're ready. ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. She's over. She's over. She's over. She's over. What are you doing here now? I can't remember I was discussing you coming here to see me. So why are you here? Ha! Ah! Oh, God. Or in what way I've heard that makes her feel me this way. Because the cheese of I know would never behave this way towards me. Henry, I've told you. Stop coming here to see me. Stop coming here to see me. Ah! Is it my fault? What has. You're welcome. Each year. I greet you. Prince, you're welcome. Thank you. My love. Oh, uh, these maidens, uh, these girls, they are now your servants. Huh? Yeah, they will remain in your house. They will serve you. They will do whatever you want them to do. I don't want you to stress anymore. Okay? So whatever you want them to do, they will do for you. All right? <laughs> and, uh, 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 bring me to Hey, stop picking me, stop picking me. Papa noise. Yeah, very key. Okay. And um, this car is your new car. Hey! Yeah. Okay. So you can drive it, go wherever you want to go. <laughs> uh, car. This is the key. My car? Yes, your car. Papa. You can drive it anywhere you want to go, anywhere you please. My prince, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm. You're welcome. Papa, eh? this is not a car owner. Mm. Papa! <laughs> hey! It fits you, my daughter. It fits you. <laughs> Papa? Mm. Papa, this is my car. Mm -hmm. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Papa, is not a car owner. That's baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Papa. Baby, baby, come here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look, you've become my word. I mean, I, I, I can't see myself without you. My life is now tied in your hands. Please marry me. No, no, say no. We, 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 we have our lives ahead. Shut up. Yes. I'm not marrying you. Come here. Thank you. Hey. You've made me the happiest in the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is that?
Eh? Come to think of it. Of all the cars in the palace, the prince could not gift me with any of the SUVs. Instead, he brought this, this small black car. Ha! I won't accept this small black car. Never. I deserve something better and bigger, like an SUV. I must return to the palace at once and make sure the prince replaces the small car with an SUV. That is exactly what I will do. Chizoba! <coughs> Papa! I'm back! Mm. Welcome, Papa. Uh -huh. You look gorgeous in this outfit. Have I seen you in it before? No, Papa. The prince is madly in love with me. He actually took me shopping. Yeah. He bought me clothes, bags, shoes, accessories. Eh? Papa, name it. Yeah. Ah. Papa, the prince is really, really in love with me. Are you serious? I'm telling you, Papa. I hope you can't hear me. Mm. Pa Hello. How are you? I'm fine, darling. Yes, I'm home. My dad? Oh, you want to speak with my dad? Okay. All right, hold on. Hello? Uh, Prince, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yes. Uh, how is your father and your mother? Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Tizova told me what you did for her. Oh, uh, very God bless you, my son. Uh, 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 yay! <laughs> uh, uh, tell me you're joking. Yay! <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, my son. May our ancestors bless you. You will never lack. If I'm a uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, my friends. Oh, what did you say? Guess what? What? The prince told me he bought a land for me. Hey! Papa! A land? Ooh, ooh. Hey! Papa! Music and Maru. A land? Hey. Ha! Pa. God has answered our prayers. <laughs> hey! Papa, so you're not a land owner. I can't believe that. A land owner. I can't believe hey. that. Tell me it is a dream. Papa, it is not a dream. Eh? It is not a dream. This is just the beginning. My friend, I'm going anywhere for house now. Leave him! Leave him! Leave him alone! What do you want? My prince, I beg you in the name of God, in the name of anything you hold dear, leave Chizoba for me. She's all I have. You are the prince. You have access to all the maidens around. You can get anyone you want. Never! It's Chizoba or never. And I will do everything to keep her. No! You cannot do this! She and I have come a long way. What is wrong with you? I have moved on. And it's time for you to do the same. You're screaming at me? I will yell at you if you don't get out of this place. How could you forget everything we have shared? That is done. And this is now. Move on, I have. Darling. Darling, come here. Come here! You know what? I think he needs money. Let me give him something.
my young man, I can see you need money. So you tell me, how much do I give you so you can leave my woman? I don't need any money. I need two of us. He's mine. Really? You know what? You heard the lady. God, take him out of here. No, say, hey, don't touch me. My, my, wait, wait, my friend. Tizoba, take him out of here. Hey, move. Tizoba, move. school went on strike. So I returned home to meet my father insisting that my mother would travel to the village with him. And there was no way he would be the chairman of the eighth grade end of year party without his wife by his side. I joined in convincing my mother to travel with us. So we set out for the village. On our way, a reckless driver ran into us. I woke up at the hospital. I spent two months there. Today marks five years of death. From what you told me about your parents, they really loved you. They were inseparable and made sure you lacked nothing. I will do everything to make sure you lack nothing. And I promise nothing, nothing will ever separate us. Okay? I love you too so much. And I'll never leave you for anything. You have a way of, of reaching my soul, my heart, of knowing exactly what what's going on with me. It's it's magical, but it's real. Thank you for loving me. No one in this world knows me as much as you do. You are able to see inside of my heart and soul that's not just magical it's real i love you so much
sorry. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah? To do, you won't kill yourself. If you say this to motor jam you now, but people go gather. They go say, hey, you don't keep us, you don't keep us. They don't go no say that nonsense. I don't know. No, only God knows what he can do. You come here road here and make you die. See, see, my brother. Don't think to yourself. Life like JJ. You will not understand. Oh, I will not understand. Oh, fine, no problem. Now when trailer go jam you, you go die. Now you go understand. Idiot! Come, Susan! Idiot! Chizoba cannot just leave me like that. There is something behind this. Something is wrong somewhere. the meaning of this. Do you want to die? No. I don't want to die. I want to talk to the maiden that gives me joy. That maiden who will do anything to see me happy. That maiden is dead. The lady that once fell in love with you died the moment Prince Ahana came into the picture. I have decided to leave behind my life of poverty and embrace wealth and affluence. Listen, my brother, money is life. I bet if you were in my position, you would do worse. Money cannot buy my love. I feel nothing for you anymore. Can't you get it? It's not so difficult for you to understand. Stay away from my path. Do you understand? And the next time you stand on my way again, I will tell the prince to have you arrested. Rubbish. Open the door. And don't you dare try blocking my way again, else I'll run you over. This is not happening. Yes, that's, that, that's what I'm trying, that's precisely what I'm trying to say. Okay, no problem, I've heard you. All right, thank you. Are you okay? Are you all right? How dare you bump into me? What? You bump Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? I'm talking to you, answer me. Come on, you bumped into me. You bumped into me. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know I'm royalty? What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Look at this idiot! Are you why you still standing there? Move it! Rubbish. Hey, yeah. Jesus, hey. Hey. Stop right there! Stop right there! Who is your friend? I'm asking you who is your friend? Uh, uh, She's over. It's also. Is we in Kishi and Amaka? Kishi your friend. What? I will never have anything to do with poverty stricken people like you. Hey, hey! And the next time you try to stop me on the road again, I'll make sure I get you both arrested. Get out of my sight! Ah! Poverty stricken people. Rubbish. Hey, come back here. Come back here! How dare you try to enter the car before me? Are you mad? 
Try that next time again and I will have your head. Rubbish. Look at the way this one is walking majestically as she bought the car for me. Are you mad? Are you stupid? Why were you walking like that? Sorry for yourself. My father is out of the country and has custom demands. I'm next in line. Feel free and pour your heart to me, woman. My friend. A few hours ago, a lady dressed in royal attire, accompanied by four palace maidens, came to my shop and asked me how much I sell my food stuff. And when I told her how much, she started running abuses on me. Then I asked her to walk out of my shop. She slapped me. My friend, she slapped me. Greetings. And how much are you selling? The plantain. Okay. The plantain. This one here is 1,500. Why these other ones is 3,300? Three, what? Here. For what? Plantain is cursed. Is it because I'm royalty? Why will you say that? You are you to, mad? You don't have to. Are you out of your mind? This is not plantain season, madam. Are you stupid? Madam. Are you not? Please just leave my shop, please. Eh? Please. Are you are you talking to me in that manner? Ah, this not this enough. Are you talking? Ah, you you must be very stupid. Do you know who I am? Do you have to? Do you me? know who I am? Ah, get out of this place! Leave this place! Are you crazy? Are you mad? Are you mad? That lady you were talking about is my wife to me. I know my woman. You must have offended her. What did you do to her? Nothing. Answer me. What did you do to her? My prince, my wife is not a troublesome woman. Yes. And that is why I have brought her here. Everybody around confirmed that the lady looked for my wife's trouble. Then you should have allowed your wife to answer the question instead of trying to brush the question off. You're trying to cover up so your wife doesn't expose herself, right? My prince. Get out of here. Out of here! Forgive him. My friend, stand up! Stand up! Get up! Fake people. Listen to me. Whether Henry is dying or he is living, it is your cup of tea. It is none of my business. Do you understand? Now don't ever come here to tell me that nonsense again. Now get out of my house. Get out! Out! Fake people. All they know how to do is to come here and beg. Rubbish. Let me see you here again. Maid! Maid! On your news. I said get on your news!
baby. Yeah, but why were you behaving like it's the first time? Yes. It's my first time. Wait, no. You are not serious, right? No. I'm dead serious. Uh, why? My father. He hired security guards to follow me up and down from my primary school days to the time I left university. They were under strict orders to prevent me from mingling, socializing, or even being with any strange woman. And now, when I left university and came back, it was to learn the ways of my fathers according to him and having an attending one function to the next, no time to mingle or make new friends. Even the maidens in the palace, they are on a strict orders not to, not to come close to me. Had it been my parents were around, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to meet you. So, that's why I've not had the experience like most young men. Oh my god, this is so strange. I mean, at this age. No, babe, let's not talk about that. Just forget about everything, okay? Just think about us. I, I like you a whole lot. And I really did enjoy it. Really? Yes, I enjoyed it. Like seriously? Yeah. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious? No. Are you serious? Seriously? <laughs> That's so old, not fussy. <laughs> Sounds like a king. It's a king. Are you expecting them? No. I spoke with him two days ago. He didn't mention it. So... It's okay, don't worry. Okay, just stay calm, okay? Everything will be okay, just stay calm. Yes, just stay calm. Daddy. Greetings. Welcome back. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you, Daddy. Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you. How was the trip? Hello. It was fine. Oh, thank I God. You. Thank God. I missed you too, Daddy. <laughs> Mom. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you look great. <laughs> What's been going on there? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, are you guys going? To... Thank you, Mom. Just stop. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Just stay, sure? stay calm. All right. Stay calm. Dad, you sent for me. Yes, please sit. Mom. It's about Rachel. My son. 
you were betrothed to Rachel a few weeks after she was born. And she's been keeping herself for you and you alone. Everything she has been taught in life has been how to be a good and submissive wife to you. Dad, I've never seen this Rachel you've talked about my entire life. How can I marry a person that I've not seen before, I've never had a conversation with? Her? I don't know what she likes, I do not know what she doesn't like. How can I marry a woman I know nothing about? My son, you will see her. And when you do, You'll get to know what she likes and what she hates. But believe me, she is the most beautiful creature you have ever seen. I spoke with her mother a few days ago. They will soon be back. And Rachel cannot wait to see you. Yes. Um, my son. Rachel is from a very good home. Your father paid her bride price for you because of how cordial his relationship was with her late father. Listen, she will make a good wife like your father said. I am very sure of that. of Chizoba. I mean, what happens to her? She will definitely find a man that will marry her. Come on. Anna. Rachel has waited for you all her life. And you can't leave her because of a girl you met just two months ago. No. possibly make a wrong decision for you, especially when it concerns marriage. Rachel's father and I were best of friends, and her mother is one of the best fashion designers in Zambia. You will be happy when you see her, and you will thank me later for making such a great choice of you and mom before and I'm not going to start doing that today. I know whatever the case is, your intentions for me, they are, they are good. I will do the need for That's my son! That's my son! Come on! <laughs> my friend, will you bring it down? Bring it down! Come here. 
I said, come here. Bring it down. If I ask you to bring your hand down again, My goodness, why is your hand so stiff? Sorry. Will you take it easy? Do you know what it means to be royalty? Of course you won't. Well, sorry for yourself. Hey boo, my love, how are you? My prince. N no, 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 my prince. You really need to make them understand. Please make them understand. My love, we are in love. We are getting married. What are you still doing here? Will you get out? Out! Uh, uh, sorry, my friends. I, I'm so sorry. Listen. What do I tell my dad? What do I tell my friends? No, my love, please. Henry will laugh at me, please. I... Hello? Hello? No! Matt! Matt! Lose this hand! Lose this hand! What are you doing? The glasses. They asked you to lose the hand! Get out of my sight! Get out! Out, out. Oh my god. What do I do when do I go for me? to live without him, please. Please speak with the king on my behalf. You are the queen. I believe he will listen to you. Please, my queen. Please stand up. Stand up. Sit. Thank you. I'm sorry. There is nothing I can do. I advise you move on with your life and forget about my son. I can't live without the prince. My life is meaningless without him. He's the very air that I breathe. Please, help me. You should learn to live without him. Prince Ahana has respect for our custom and tradition. That's why he broke up with you. And I expect you to do the same. This is my queen. Please. I will be dead without the prince. Please. Chizoba. I want to make it very clear to you. You should learn to live without Ahana. And that implies you should start distancing yourself from the palace. 
and stop dressing as royalty because you are not one. And I don't see you becoming one. You may go now. The khaki, please. Drop it here. And don't forget to tell your father that we have collected the land and handbag gift to him. Have a nice day. Uh, Henry Halfa. I understand, but you have to say goodbye to the past and move on with your life. That's right. Uh, it's okay. See, I have a job for you. Though it's not something very big, but it's going to keep you busy. Um, the person that gave me the job sent me on an errand. But I will come to your place later. They asked me to bring someone else. That's why I'm calling you. Okay now, take care. Oh. Papa, Prince Ahana loves me. I can swear he still loves me. His parents are the ones coercing him into marrying that lady they claim he was betrothed to. Papa, the most painful part of this whole thing is they even took back the piece of land that Ahana gave you. And my car! What? The queen even told me to stop, to stop wearing my royal attires. <sighs> Papa, I have him here. The only challenge is his parents. He respects them too much. Um, listen, this is not the time for you to shed tears. <clears throat> This is time for you to be strong and resilient in order to take back what rightfully belongs to you. Insofar as you know within the confines of your heart that you can always manipulate a Hannah, all you need do is to re-strategize and wait for an opportunity to find yourself back into his heart. Hmm? I will fight. I will fight to reclaim everything that rightfully belongs to me. And nobody, not even his parents, can take him away from me. That's my daughter. <laughs> yeah. You can find your way from here. He's inside. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. And don't forget, we never met. Sure. No problem. Thank you very much.
Joshua. How did you get in here? My prince. My prince. I really missed you, you know? Uh, uh, my parents will not be happy to see you here. Ain't you happy to see me? I mean, I came here so we could talk about us. One minute, my, my, my mother is calling me. Hello? Hello? Mom? Okay, oh, okay Mama, I'll be with you soon. Oh, yes, so... Okay. I have to go and attend to my mother. You have to go? Yes. I mean, it came here for us to discuss. I must attend to my mother. Okay, fine. But we'll make sure you come back immediately. Okay? So, just wait for me, but stay out of sight. Alright? Make sure nobody sees you. Come on, baby. Now you take it easy. There's a step one, that's it. And the second one, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome once again to my palace. Oh. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you very much. Um, please, where is my husband? Oh, he's not around. Is he? No, he went out. Oh, I've been longing to meet him, honestly. No, kid. <laughs> Baby, sit down, sit. Okay. Sit. Yes. Yes. Richard has lost something to a beautiful lady. Yes, she has. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, I, I don't understand it. What exactly is going on here? Why would your son be so insensitive? Why would he do such a thing? Agnes, calm down, please. I'm not coming down. It's not fair. This is totally not acceptable. Agnes, I will talk to him. Please, let's get back to your daughter. Oh, you had better talk to him. You had better talk to him. Agnes, calm down. She's I don't want your daughter to know what is happening. Let's take it easy. We can sort it out. We came here because of him. Okay? We came here because of him. I refuse to be treated like this. Rachel woke up one morning and complained about sharp pains in her eyes. Of course, I immediately took her to see the doctor. And the doctors advised that the, she had to undergo surgery uh, in order to detect exactly what was wrong with her. The stupid doctors. After the surgery, the eyes became worse. I had no choice than to take her to uh, South Africa. From South Africa to Germany, two weeks later. And, um, all I can say is that all hope is not lost because the German doctors said we should come back in December. For how long has this been? Um, for 10 years. What? 10 years? Yes, and that was why there was a breakdown in communication. I mean, I, I couldn't bring myself to tell you. I didn't know how to do it. I, I was afraid you wouldn't want to associate with her because, you know, nobody would want to be associated with someone in that kind of condition. I am truly sorry. I wasn't going to come back until Rachel started yearning for home and 
saying she wanted to see her husband. And then coupled with pressure from you, I, I had no choice then to come back. I am glad you do. It hasn't really been easy. Oh, poor girl. We're sorry about that. That's okay. Thank you. But she'll be fine. I promise you, the doctors, they're so sure she would be fine. I mean. I thought I told you to stay out of sight. You didn't tell me you were betrothed to anyone. Why? Me betrothed? I mean, are you talking about somebody I haven't spoken to in 10 years? Oh, come on. Baby. Don't touch me. Don't! Look, um... Her mother has refused for us to get to know each other. She was always citing tradition this, tradition that, so I, I had to let her go. I mean, I, I couldn't do nothing about it. Baby, come on, come on. It's not your fault. I mean, it's her mother's. Who did not want anybody to know about her daughter's condition? Your betrothal has been blind for 10 years. Yes. 10 years. What? Ten years? Yes. Ten years. My love. I eavesdropped on her mother's conversation with your parents. Now don't get me wrong. I was only coming to your room when your name was mentioned. And I thought you were there. Now I see why she did all that. But the act is dubious. I mean, she would have been opened about everything. Exactly what I'm thinking. Exactly what my mind is telling me. That's why I'm not going to have anything to do with her or her mother. Nothing. Your parents already forgave her. Even without seeking your opinion. What? I witnessed everything. Look, Chizoba, are you sure of what you're saying? My love, you know I love you so much and I will never, ever lie to you. You were man enough to make your own decisions. And this is one of them. Okay? Listen. I love you so much. Come. Come here. Just play someone else? 
Of course not. Listen, I'm behind you all the way. And there is a way we can go about this. Okay? You know what she said? She said she would love to move into her own home and live alone. Why would she think that in her condition? I mean, who would take care of her? Considering the fact that you're very busy with me. Exactly the same question that I asked her. And guess what she said? Mom, I would love to explore. In her own words. I didn't bother arguing with her knowing my condition and I don't want her finding out about my health issues. <laughs> 